This video is about the induced fit model of enzyme action. I'm making this one because I've had an email from Carl and Carl said, my teacher keeps talking about something called the induced fit model. Can you help me understand what it's all about? So let's have a look. So here we've got an enzyme and a substrate. Now, if you haven't checked out my video called What Are Enzymes Yet? It'd be a good idea to go and have a look at that before we look at this concept. Click on the enzyme here to take you there. So what you'll notice is that when a substrate is specific for an enzyme, they have what we call complementary shapes. This substrate will fit into what we call the active site of this enzyme. Now that's an approximate complementary shape. But when the substrate binds to the enzyme and forms the enzyme substrate complex, in the induced fit model, the enzyme actually changes shape slightly to produce an even more exact fit. So they were complementary initially. This substrate does fit into this active site, but then the enzyme slightly alters its shape so that we form an even more exact fit. It then catalyzes the reaction, which means speeds it up. The product or products can then move away. The enzyme remains unchanged so that it can catalyze another reaction all over again. So that's the induced fit. It's simply the enzyme changing its shape slightly so that it forms an even more exact fit with the substrate. And so I just thought I'd demonstrate it with this texture. Okay, let's say that the chemical reaction that we want to catalyze is the lid being removed from this texture. So this texture is the substrate and the products are the texture and the lid. It's a breakdown reaction. My hand can play the role of the enzyme. Now I'll form a shape so that we can tell that the texture and my hand do have a complementary shape, just like the active site of the enzyme and the substrate having a complementary shape. Now, sure, that fits into my hand, but unless I change the shape slightly, I'm gonna have trouble removing that lid. But when I change the shape of my hand slightly, I can put more pressure and I can remove the lid of the texture. That is essentially the induced fit model for enzyme activity. The substrate does have a complementary shape to the enzyme's active site. It will bind, and then the enzyme will change shape slightly, form an even more exact fit, and the reaction takes place. So that's been the induced fit model of enzyme activity. Carl, thanks for sending in your question. Remember, you can send your questions in at jeremy.s.lacornu at gmail.com. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.